So, uh, so what do we got here, Jamie? A 92 Hyundai Elantra, two liter non-turbo Mitsubishi block, 30 over generic pistons, no balance shafts, a 1.6 liter head, 1.8 liter camshafts, retarded four degrees. Hey, you're one, not supposed to use that word. Sorry. <laughs> A 1.8 liter ECU, uh, Walbro 255 HP fuel pump, stock pressure regulator. It's holding about 50 PSI at idle. It's not bad. It's a turbo transmission, stock turbo clutch, stock Hyundai axles, uh, Mitsubishi Expo front brakes, and some 225-50 tires. And you got five lug hubcaps over four lug wheels? Yes. So you have nine lug wheels? Yes. Nice. That is correct. Nice. Uh, Subaru Impreza front bumper modified, i.e. cut in half with popper that's holding it together. Got plenty of room there. Plenty Absolutely. of room to breathe. Hey, what do we got here on the ground in front of it? Uh, some more parts that are going into it. Yeah? It's about 10 and a half to 1 compression now, so I figure 7 to 10 PSI should make it nice. Yeah. So we got a 14B, 1G intercooler, a uh, 1G MAF, unhacked, unmolested, and uh, a whole set of stock pipes, a little rubber hose style, which I'm sure you'll probably mess with eventually and change, but maybe not. You don't really need to. You're only running, what, 7 pounds? Maybe 10 at the most. 10 at the most? Set of turbo gaskets and throttle body elbow action. K and M filter, yay! Intake manifold from a turbo and right. uh, a Mitsubishi skateboard. Yeah, yeah. The Mitsubishi That's skateboard custom. is I, I, actually this is a necessary thing for most DSMers because the car spends so much time on jack stands, you got to get around on something. Exactly. <laughs> So anyway, it's like the uh, old Dodge Neon or the Dodge Razor that used to come with the scooter built into the back. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, here it is. Uh, car was originally automatic, converted it to five speed, hence the brake pedal cut in half. Yeah, man. And as you know, if you've had a Colt, Garage, Summit, or a Hyundai, which is the same chassis, the brake pedal is attached to a torque tube, which goes all the way across the dashboard and pushes onto the brake master cylinder, which is on the passenger side of the car. So, That's instead right. of changing out the entire torque tube to make the right pedal work, I just cut in a half. Works fine for me and never had a problem before. Let's hear no the clutch safety switch. I don't believe in putting extra pressure on the thrust bearing with no oil pressure. Let's hear these 1.8 cams. <laughs> she don't want to start. It'll find its eye, give it a second. A little hot restart, a little vapor lock, fuel pump leaks down a little bit. Mine does the same thing. As soon as you get rid of the evaporative stuff, yeah. you always have that problem. It's tough to start it unless you prime the fuel pump first, and nobody carries a laptop to do that. So I find the pump and the gas pedal works pretty good. I realize it's not carbureted, but open and throttle position sensor does hurt the injector. So yep. It does the same thing. Nice. Love this radiator though. I really do. Yeah, top yard fine. So, OE replacement, brass copper core. This is in another Elantra. It looks like it's been recently replaced. It didn't have very many deposits in it. It's like a $25 part. Nice. I don't like plastic core, you know. right here is where you add all the extra horsepower yeah exactly the pink baby seat definitely worth at least factor. 10 to 15 yep. at the wheels exactly I can guarantee quarter, you that quarter of a second no less absolutely nice well I think you've done pretty good man you know this is gonna be the second build you've done with it right yeah with the same or this would be the third build the third build 
was originally the 1.6 automatic. I boosted it with a built turbo motor and transmission and electronics and fuel system and exhaust. Then it went back to a stock non-turbo 2 liter. Now it's going to go back to a stock turbo 2 liter. Good but deal, man. Good deal. I would deal. like to use as many factory parts as possible just for ease of installation and not having to worry about reliability. Well, issues. it looks like you definitely have that locked down. There's plenty of stock parts. Looks like you got everything you need. Good job, bro. I think it's starting to can now. <laughs> yeah, it is. Let's take a listen to that. Baby. 